Welcome to Teacher2, research and consultancy sale of industrial application. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use the while wind loop. So in order to start with, let's go to the start button and then click on all programs. And from here, we will locate the Microsoft Visual Studio 6.0 and then we will locate and launch Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0 alright so we have launched our Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0 so here we have selected the standard EXC application to start with as we have to create a very basic application that's the reason we have selected standard EXC. To start with, let's just take an example that a user enters a number in the text box and when he clicks on the OK button then a message box appears on the screen as many times equal to the number that has been put into the text box by the user. So let's take a text box and a command button. Change the caption of this command button to test and rename it as CMD test and delete this text one and rename it as TXT This is a name for the text box. Okay, now let's go to the coding window. Okay, now the syntax for a while when loop is Okay, now this is a syntax for a while when loop. Now the, it starts with the while and ends with the when statement. Okay, now between these two line of code, there are the statements which we want to execute. And within the parenthesis, this is the condition. Now this line of code says while this condition is true, these statements would be executed. And if this condition is false, the line of code jumps to the statement that is immediately following this loop. Okay, that is, it gets out of that loop, that iteration process. Okay, now let's write. that uh, that we have taken a temporary variable and it has been compared to the number which has been entered into the concatenation operator. This AND is the concatenation operator. Now, this line of code says the message box would display the the number the temp variable is containing at that point of time. Okay, and uh, the message that is this is a string. Okay, and this statement we have added here because we want our loop to be finite. 
and that's why we have added this statement okay and this temporary variable will be incrementing with each and every iteration and once this condition becomes false it gets out of this loop and jumps to this end sub statement and the program ends there okay now in order to run this code first of all we need to declare this temp variable and then we have to initialize it as well because right now it does not contain any kind of variable on it how we will use the while when statement and remember that always we have to end the while statement with the when line of code okay so stop this code from here so this is what all about the while when statement and in the coming tutorial we will be covering a uh, for loop and few other loops as well thank you